Hey folks, Jason, JTL, Painfully Honest Tech here today to talk to you about how to listen to spatial audio and lossless audio on the iPhone and the iPad. They're both basically the same. So let's get into it right now. In order to get to listen to spatial audio or lossless audio on iPad or iPhone, uh, you'll see here that there are some playlists that are available. Here's a spatial, there's a spatial audio playlist. And uh, I don't know if there's, I haven't seen a, lo a lossless audio playlist, but there's a spatial audio playlist. You can just jump in here and you see they've got a little bit of everything inside of this. Uh, classic rock, there's some classical, there's some pop, there's some rap, there's some new stuff, some old stuff. One thing that I've found in my listening to spatial audio so far is that some stuff sounds really good with spatial audio. Uh, classical music in general will sound really great with spatial audio. Some stuff, however, doesn't. Like uh, listening to Just the Two of Us by Grover Washington and Bill Withers really didn't create an effect that I liked. In, in general, uh, taking stereo and, and creating this spatial idea uh, kind of gives it an extra sense of reverb or roominess which works on some tracks and doesn't work on others. So keep that in mind and, and just keep yourself aware that spatial audio might not always work. You see here, if we, if we click into a track, you'll hear, you'll see Dolby Atmos and that's the spatial audio that Apple, Apple's basing spatial audio off of Dolby Atmos. So you can get that right here. Now, in order to enable spatial audio, and this is what's a little bit different from the Mac. Uh, you have to actually go into settings and you have to go down to the Apple Music app and you have to scroll down here just a little bit and select Dolby Atmos always on or automatic. Since every song that you're listening to isn't going to be Dolby Atmos, isn't going to have spatial audio, automatic is fine. Uh, you can also select lossless audio in quality. So I have that selected. Um, and then you can select what kind of uh, quality of audio you want in this cellular Wi-Fi and download section. So I have high quality, which is um, 256 kilobits AP, uh, AAC. Uh, but I'll probably go lossless with that. We'll stream lossless and uh, the rest I'm going to go to continue to high res lossless continue and high res lossless for uh, on, for both downloads and Wi-Fi streaming. So high res lossless is above 48 kilohertz. So basically, that's that's all you need to do in order to be able to listen to Dolby Atmos uh, spatial audio on your device. So in order to hear spatial audio at this point, you have to have AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, the original AirPods also, the, at least AirPods 2 will use them as well. Uh, some Beats headphones uh, will use them, I've seen, but it doesn't say what Beats headphones. I haven't found what Beats headphones. I would imagine the Studio 3 wireless will use spatial audio because it has some of the similar uh, hardware that the AirPods do. I'm going to do another video where I talk more about what exactly spatial audio is, what exactly you're hearing, my opinions about whether or not it's worth it compared to lossless audio is loss. What is the difference between lossless and spatial audio? That video is coming up later on this week. But for now, if you want to listen to spatial audio on your Apple devices, then this is the way that you go and enable it. But in the near future, Apple says that any headphones will be able to take advantage of it. Spatial audio with AirPods Pro and AirPods Max also tracks your head, so the sound changes as you move around, but that's only available on those two headphones because they both have accelerometers which can tell where your head is. So all of this is still very fluid. Apple's just coming out with these things. Compared Comparatively, there are very few spatial audio tracks, but if you want to get a good sense of what spatial audio is, I suggest going through that playlist that I just showed you and uh, and, and check out the stuff that you like. Uh, 
and check out a bunch of different stuff so you can hear how each genre of music handles spatial audio. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. This is kind of an exciting thing. I mean, I think spatial audio is going to be what most people listen to and enjoy when it comes to the new stuff that Apple's bringing to Apple Music. And it is something different and it does have a really cool effect. So I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. Hopefully this helps you understand how it works. If this is your first time here, please consider liking, subscribing, bell notifying yourself so you'll know when more videos are coming out. I'm going to cover as much as possible about spatial audio and lossless audio and what to use with it. Once again, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.